Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today is maintenance day. I have got quite a bit to do. I've got tire change and new moves. I've got an oil change. Thought I'd take you guys along with me and uh, show you how a rookie does this shit. Welcome to Maintenance with Martin. So, first on the list, we've got a tire and moves change. I'm going to be using the Rabaconda. He says that you can change a tire in three minutes, but it's probably going to take me about 20 minutes because I'm still awful at a tire change. Rabaconda's built up. That's the easy part. Now, wheel off, tire off, moose off, new tire in, new moose in. Let's go. Just thought some of you guys that are actually good at doing this will be looking at me going, what on earth is he doing? But I just find it so difficult. It's it's not it's not an hard job, is it? It's just not. For all you learners, noobs, rookies out there like me, we're in this together, boys. We're in this together. Put some gloves on, make it seem like we're in an uh, enduro GP scenario. Like I said, to be pro, you got to act like one first. Okay, so I've got my fairy liquid mix to grease up the rubber to get the levers in nicer. Love that piece boy. Nine o'clock. So the levers are in. Give it one of these. Over. Out. Bosh. The inside of my wheels like quite mucky, so is it worth cleaning? I'd probably say it's worth cleaning because the rim tape's all disgusting. So I'm going to clean the wheel and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so the wheel is now clean, fresh, lovely jubbly, ready for a brand new moose and tyre. Now, I don't know, not yet, to know much about tyres and mooses because I'm still really new. So I went on Dirt Bike Spec. Uh, Paul Bolton's company and he's got a proper cool like category section where you, you select it and you can select what sort of race you're riding and then it gives you the specific tyre and moose setup that would be best for that style of race so the bundle I went for is the hard and fast because it was aimed for a traditional enduros, cross countries, hare and hounds I've got the Mytas Superlight TT I think it's the single green tyre the moose that comes with it is a Mifo moose. Um, it's quite hard and it's just a standard size, standard size moose. So let's get this bad boy lube. I see loads of people either lube the moose or just lube the inside of the tire. I don't know which one actually is best. I'm guessing just as long as it's lubed so it can't overheat is the best and not to get it on the bead, I know that. So I'm just going to go for the inside of the tyre and I'll probably just rub some round the moose itself. I'm done, it's all lubed up. Moose is in the tyre, that's probably the easiest I've ever got a moose in a tyre before. I think what my biggest issue was is that I've always been putting a too big a moose in the wrong sort of tyre or vice versa. But obviously because this was a bundle this is the perfect moose for the tyre. Another reason why I went for this as well is that in the description it, it said that it's a long lasting tyre which is really good for me because obviously I'm not fortunate enough to be in the point where I can just get tyres for free or have a tyre sponsor so and tyres are, are expensive so hopefully it will last me quite a while. Right let's get this bad boy on the wheel. Before I put the tyre on the rim I'm just going to clean the bead, get any moose lube off as I don't want it slipping off the rim so I know we start at the rim lock underneath 
in the rim wall. Right here. This is always where I struggle the most, getting that first bit of the tire on. Surely there's got to be a technique. sweating my nut off I just can't I haven't cracked it getting that first bit of the tire on around the bead but this next bit should be a bit easier I, I hope I'm gonna spray the tire make it slippy get the first bit of the tire in and just work work my way around this one in so now I'm at the final bit move the thing in make sure that rim locks in push it on oh. <laughs> he's done it He's actually done it. Oh my God. That is, I've never done it that fast before. That was a breeze compared to what I'm used to. Oh, I'm buzzing, get in. Paul Bolton, if you're ever watching this, you legend son. Guys, I've genuinely never been so happy. That was, that was fucking quality. That was quality. He's done it. He's, he's done it. Maintenance of Martin is a solid piece. As you can tell by how happy I am, that just proves how hard I struggle to actually change tyres, but rookies and noobies, we're in this together, boys. We're in this together, onwards and upwards. Oh my, fresh. And now it's clean the fork seals out. I got told when I took my forks in for a service at my local suspension place rss suspension after every ride it's good to blow out the inside of the forks and grease the rim of the fork seal and screw it back in because it just stops any water getting in and it collects all the grime in the grease instead of the grime going off elsewhere and possibly ruining the inside of your forks it's best to do that so now i try and do that after every ride because when I did give him my forks he said just how bad they were and obviously the the worse your forks are the more there is to do in the service thus leading to spending more money so and to save money in places that I can do is a uh, big help to me. I'll take my forks off and I will then get the compressor set up. So now the forks are off, the first thing I do is I get a bit of a wet rag and I just clean down the fork tube itself. This just gets any dirt that I actually missed when I clean my bike last and it's actually quite a bit on this one to be fair. Clean around that O-ring. Next you get a, a stubborn headed flat driver to get the seal off. So I'll just crack the seal all the way around so I can pull it down like so and it is super grimy I don't know if you can see that it's uber grimy so this is where the compressor gets good so now I've blown it all off, 
Just get that excess dirt off with the rag. There was so much gunk in that then. Get some grease. And I just put just a blob on all four corners of the, I guess it's not a corner, it's round, isn't it? And then I just spin, spin and push it up back in. There she is. Freshy. Slide the elasticated O-ring back on and then stick it on a rag. Give it some good pumps. Get that grease moving. And that's how I've been taught to keep your fork seals as well maintained as possible. Because again, like I, like I said earlier with the tyres, everything in this sport costs a lot of money. So I don't want to do anything bad that's going to force more money out of me in the long run. So a well-maintained bike is a well-maintained wallet to me. So I do that after every ride. So I'm just going to do the second one now and I'll see you when I put them back on the bike. Now it's just an oil change. Definitely due an oil change. Oil change all done. Freshy. It's so much better on a two stroke to change the oil because you don't have to faff with filters or anything like that and you don't have to do it as regular either so it was quite surprising now how fast I got that done. It's been a pretty good maintenance with Martin. Maintenance with Martin. Okay guys, that is a wrap. Thank you so much for watching this video. As always, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time. Peace.